The Harker family now wholesale their peppers all over the West Coast, across the prairies and even up into the Northwest Territories. When we come back, we're going to meet with Bruce Harker, and he's going to tell us all about the different peppers, their colors and tastes, and we're going to find out how hot is hot. We're back with Bruce Harker, our pepper man. Okay, Bruce, I want to get right down to basics. When I go to the grocery store and I look at the red pepper and the green pepper and the yellow pepper, the only difference I can tell between them is the price. Now, why is that? Color. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they're more difficult to grow, then my question naturally would be, do fewer farmers grow them? Well, there's still more of the green bell grown than there is of the, the colored peppers, just because they're a little easier to grow and because the demand in the marketplace is there for them. Hey, Bruce, what are the health benefits of peppers? Well, actually, they're very high in vitamin A, E, and very high in vitamin C. And if they're hot, they clear your sinuses. Oh, that's yes. what they do. I also heard that they thin your blood. Is that that's, right? That's correct, yes. And they keep your cholesterol level down. Yeah, apparently the hot ones will do that. Okay, I've been studying on peppers. Now, the banana pepper, it looks, to me, it looks exactly the same, whether it's a sweet banana pepper or a hot banana pepper. How do I tell the difference? Well, you're right about that. They do look the same. I, I wouldn't be able to identify them out in my field other than the fact that I know where I've planted the hot ones and where I've planted the, the sweet uh, banana peppers. Well, then how am I supposed to tell the difference if I'm in the store? What you got to do is when the produce manager isn't looking, just take a bite out of one and you'll find <laughs> out for sure. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> you know I don't like hot peppers. Oh, all right, speaking of hot peppers, I don't like my food really spicy. So sometimes when I am cooking with a hot pepper, I just use a teeny, teeny bit. What am, how do I store the rest of it? Well, the best thing to do is just leave it like on a, on a dry cloth. I was also uh, informed that you grow organically here. Yes, we do, yeah. What exactly does that mean? Well, quite simply uh, put, it really means uh, growing products, food products, without the use of any chemical fertilizers, any chemical herbicides, and without the use of any pesticides. Right, well, if you're not spending money on all of those things, why is it that organic food costs more? Because it's very, very labor intensive. So you're basically weeding and you know how long it takes to weed a small garden. So in spite of the added difficulty and obvious risk to your crop, are you glad that you chose to grow organically? Oh yes, Lynn, I definitely am. It's, it's really satisfying to be able to grow uh, food products that, that we don't have to use any chemicals on. We can pass on to the consumer and there's absolutely, you know, you know that there's the food value is there, it's enhanced, mm -hmm. and you've got a real clean product to produce. Well, obviously you're happy with your decision and I'm happy with what's coming up because Kathy and you are both going to be cooking in the kitchen with me later, right? You got it. Okay, now if I remember correctly, the only way to tell the difference between a sweet banana pepper and a hot banana pepper is to take a bite. That's correct. All right, so I want you to test them. Well, maybe we should share on this experiment. You have a bite and I'll have a bite, and then we'll know which one is hot no. and which one is sweet. Just... <laughs> no, we're not going to share. You're going to take a bite, and if you run for water, I'm going to put this one back. <laughs> when we come back, Kathy's going to be making pepper stir-fry, and you're going to be making... Habanero prawns. Habanero prawns. Okay, Bruce, I've got it at 325. Great, that's just where we need it. Okay, now I know we're making habanero prawns, right? But what exactly is that? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook prawns in a butter sauce with habaneros and a little bit of garlic in there. And habanero is this, right? Uh, that's a diced habanero. Can I touch this one? Because that, ha that jalapeno I wasn't supposed to touch. I don't know if I would touch that or not. Okay, then I'm not <laughs> gonna touch it. Okay, I think actually that this is probably hot enough we could go for it. Okay, what we're going to do then is add our one cup of butter. Mm -hmm. We can just, get just just shake it out. Go ahead. Okay, there you go. It's in. Okay, now what goes next? Well, we're just going to get this butter to melt a little bit in here. It, it's doing real well. And now okay. we're going to do is add the habanero. I'm not touching it. You're going to have to put that in. But I have something right here for you, Lynn. Okay. It's only number eight, but they oh! are, they're surgical <laughs> gloves. <laughs> they will help you. They'll protect you. No. I wanted number 10. I'm not, put it back. Okay. <laughs> you set me up for that. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got one diced habanero, but uh, we'll maybe just add a, just a, dis just a little maybe test. Less just so it won't be too hot, we'll eh? <laughs> okay. And what we've got here is one garlic clove, fresh garlic clove, all diced up. Mm -hmm. We'll add that in. All right, do you want me to give it a stir? Yeah, that would be okay. great. You bet. Oh, that actually. 
That actually, I love the smell of butter and garlic put together. Watch the fumes now. Really? I need goggles next. Okay, now that we've got that, it looks like it's uh, coming along pretty good. We're just, what we're doing is adding a little flavor to that butter that's mm -hmm. in there with the garlic clove and with the habanero in there. Okay. Now we'll add our fresh BC prawns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now remember, we've, right. only, we've only cooked these for about a minute or a minute and a half in boiling water. So now what we're going to do is just add them to the butter. So they're already cooked then? They really are already cooked. Right? This is, uh, we're adding a little more cooking to them. We don't want to overcook them because they tend to get a little bit mm -hmm. tough then, but we still want to keep them tender. This is just for that hot, hot habanero oh, flavor. We, <laughs> we just want to add that hot, hot habanero flavor to it. Oh, I'm so you, excited. You, oh, I'm glad you are. <laughs> this is the habanero pepper, right? That's the habanero okay. there. Is it hotter than a jalapeno? Oh yes, it is hotter. It's ten times hotter than a jalapeno. Ah, is it ready? It's awful close, yeah. Okay, let's see. Kathy, we're eating. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, one for you. Good, thanks, Lynn. Hi. What's that for? Well, this is for later, for the heat. <laughs> trying to kill me. You guys, stop this. Stop it. It's a go, joke, then. right? I mean, there you go. it can't be that hot, right? You're just, you're, you're, you're just doing this to me, aren't you? Oh, well, let's try it out and see. All right, I'm tasting it. I'm tasting it. It can't be that hot. Oh, uh, actually, it's hot it from the pan. <laughs> it's really good. You guys make a great cooking team. Yeah, but he never cleans up. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm Lynn Louise and we've been cross country cooking. Can I put this in here? Yes, you can. Okay. I think I think the butter will add a lot of flavor to it actually. This looks good. Mm. Mm. Okay, now I need the bun. Now I need the bun. Uh -uh. Well that doesn't take it away, Lynn. I've got something that definitely will. Open up. Yeah.